love it when the needle drops and settles into the groove of a record as the turntable revolves. It's the beginning of something. Something magical and I'm partial to its abracadabra. That crackle before the first note is like a campfire struggling to burn dead wood in a cold winter's night. And I crave the anticipation of that first sound. That first note of music you know or are about to be introduced to. It's the chase before the capture. And then the song begins and you start to thaw by the warmth of the sound. If my life was a record, you could probably drop the stylist on a track called Functional Family. Dad singing along during his morning shave, mum's hips gyrate as she irons countless dresses. Music birthing a blood-nicked face and well-pressed clothes. Lovers sway to the Friday night music as the children spy with ears and eyes. Two pin the needle so the record won't skip. Spousal accusations yelled in between tracks. Answers discovered in music and song. The needle, the damage undone. Records age, but they never get old. Select my music I'll spend time with and release the vinyl from this cardboard prison. They're not album covers, they're passports. Where will I go to tonight? Nebraska? A hotel in California? The dark side of the moon? <laughs> Mum was right. The best, songs, the best songs take you places. I feel my mood affirmed as a needle ploughs through microscopic dust, journeying onwards, delivering rhythmic answers to life's questions. Dad always said the best songs tell stories. Songs that are an antidote to emotional sabbaticals or unforced sadness. Songs that ask questions and songs that offer answers. Music that defeats the inner enemy. Because rolling vinyl gathers no dross. When I was a kid, our house was always filled with music. Dad would sing along during his morning shave. I mean, he hadn't a note in his head, but at the same time, it's hard to enunciate with your mouth like that. The first cut is the deepest. My dad was a DJ, so there was always a soundtrack to my life when I was growing up. I would watch him in absolute awe as he sang along during his records. He had hands like paws. I could barely see the razor he held during his morning shave from my low vantage point, but the tiny hairs gathering in the shaving foam in the sink confirmed a blade. It always reminded me of chocolate sprinkles and vanilla ice cream. The unwanted blood like strawberry sauce. He was human after all. My job was to change or flip the records. There's no like skip button or scrubbing forward on vinyl records. It's an art to drop the needle in the perfect place. I learned all the classics that way. He would turn to me every time the razor left his face to sing the lyrics to me. I was his audience. I was his daughter. The day my mother told me my daddy had left, I didn't believe her. My young mind struggling to make sense. He wouldn't leave without his records. So then my mum took me to our record player and handed me a box and said, there are your records now. And a note from my now absent father on the sleeve of his favourite album read, all the answers you'll ever need. Grew up and learned quickly to flip over the album to chase away the silence. Final is a black mirror. It's reflective. Two pee in the needle so the record won't skip. <laughs>